He's an ex-convict who's the first to tell you he is not proud of his early years. Me and my sister pretty much took care of ourselves. I grew up in a neighborhood just like this one here. A lot of poverty, banded homes, people sleeping in cars, dealers hanging out on the corners. Arrested for theft at 15 years old, it wasn't long before Jeff says he started selling marijuana and crack cocaine. I was making up to $35,000 a week, and uh, I'm sure at least four, five, six million dollars went through my hands. But Jeff's high rolling lifestyle came to an end. Federal agents raided his home and arrested him. He was convicted and sentenced to 19 years in prison for drug trafficking and conspiracy. When I first went to prison, I, I pretty much felt that I, I was done, I was finished. It's never too late to have a wake-up call. There's always time to recognize that you have the power. From the prison yard to the Las Vegas Strip, Chef Jeff's journey has been anything but ordinary. This is one of the better guys in the business and one of the top chefs in the country today. I gotta tell you, what a great story. There were people who said that I couldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. You will never get a job in Las Vegas. You can never become an executive chef. You don't have a culinary degree. He rose to fame cooking for the Marriott, the Ritz Carlton, the Bel Air Hotel, Caesars Palace, and became the first African-American executive chef at Cafe Bellagio. But I played to my strengths. I knew who I was. I knew I was gifted. I knew I had the ability. I was humble. And I stayed laser focused. And that American dream never left my mind. He's a New York Times best-selling author, the former host of the Chef Jeff Project, and family style with Chef Jeff. Today, he's the host of the nationally syndicated show Flip My Food and one of the nation's top motivational speakers. But today, I, you know, at 47 years of age, I can honestly say that America is the greatest country in the world. Chef Jeff is sought after by many of the world's top Fortune 500 companies, including Dell, General Electric, Bank of America, UBS, Disney, ADP, American Express, the United Way, Aramark, and many more. I survived walking out of prison in 1996 with nothing but a dream. So I believe if you can see it, you can be it. So let's not worry about what we did, let's worry about what we're gonna do. It's never too late to achieve the American dream.